If you're a designer, developer, you immediately know what's wrong with this paragraph. It almost pierces your eyes just looking at it. It's the runt at the bottom of the paragraph. However, if I was to go to my published page, the issue is solved. And I'm going to use JavaScript to solve the issue for me. Now, you may hear this term referred to as a widow or orphan, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to refer to it as a runt. In this video, I'm going to show you two methods you could use to solve the runt, widow, or orphan issue in Webflow. The first one I'm going to use JavaScript, and the second one will be all native Webflow. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into Designer. And in my example right here, you'll notice that I have a paragraph, and it has a class name of runt. So I'm going to go into my custom code, and I'm just going to copy this code into Code Sandbox so we have a better view of it. And basically what this code is going to do is we're selecting all of our paragraphs with the class name of runt, and we're going to find the last space between the last two words, so the space in between the last two words, and turn that into a non-breaking space so that those two words always stay together. Now let's say you want to apply this to your paragraphs inside of a rich text. Well then, we're going to slightly modify the code and have something like this. In this example, we're using a rich text with the class name of rich text run, and we're going to find all of our paragraphs inside of rich text run, and we're going to apply the same effect where the space between the last two words would be a non-breaking space. But when it comes to rich text elements, we have to introduce the trim method to make it work properly. So slight differences between just your text blocks and paragraphs and rich text elements. Now let's say you didn't want to use JavaScript and you want to keep this all native web flow. What you could do is you could select the last two words and wrap it in a span and we'll give it a class name of non-breaking. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go down to our typography settings and where it says breaking and line, we're going to change it to no wrap. And that will keep those last two words together. So that's how you can remove your runts, widows, and orphans in Webflow. Thank you for watching.